Hey guys, what's up? I'm Vikram, from Ego Strength Tech Digest, and this is my review of the U Eureka Plus. Let's get started. U Eureka Plus is an iteration over the U Eureka, which comes with some improvements over the Eureka itself. There are more similarities than differences compared to the U Eureka with the U Eureka Plus. The areas where it improves on majorly include the screen, which is the display resolution of the screen. and the camera sensor at the rear let me start with the display and this comes with a full high definition 1080p display the display size remains the same at 5.5 inches same as the u eureka another difference is that there is a sony sensor now which is better in quality compared to the u eureka so u eureka plus has slightly better rear camera performance i'll start my review with the design of the phone and nothing much has changed here the u eureka plus just like the u eureka comes in a plastic or polycarbonate shell design which is fairly strong and well built it's very slim and looks nice for the size of this phone the back is removable and comes in white as well as moon dust silver finish so the finish that we have seen on the u eureka earlier which is the gray one is also available but this time it comes with a silver lining which is a metallic reinforcement which has been done all across the phone which not only gives it a premium look but also gives it some extra strength under the hood of the phone there is 2500 mAh battery which was earlier also there it is still a dual sim device and is also 4G capable it uses the same chipset and the specifications are the same the memory is expandable it comes with 16 GB internal memory and you can add a micro SD card and you can also move apps to SD card on the U Eureka plus just like the U Eureka on right hand side of the phone you have the power or wake up key which has a slight texture on top of it which feels nice to touch on the left hand side you have the volume rocker keys which are again finished in metal and look very nice on the rear there is a 13 megapixel camera which comes with auto focus and led flash and on front there is a 5 megapixel sensor there is u branding and a speaker mesh towards the bottom on the front there is a 5.5 inch display and there are three touch capacitive keys which are backlit the overall aesthetics and physical appearance design and build of the phone is fairly impressive for the price at which it is selling let's talk about the display quality the 5.5 inch full hd display panel that has been used on the eureka plus is fairly nice and is very good on color production the viewing angles are also good and the phone looks very rich when it comes to display quality here are some samples for you on your screen talking about the audio playback quality the speakers are fairly loud and the audio fx software that comes pre installed on this cyanogen mode 12 is also very powerful and gives very nice audio effects here is a sample of audio from the speaker phone now let's talk about another very important factor which is the camera the camera app does not get any major changes compared to the previous version it is still the same cyanogen mode uh, 12 camera app which is as responsive and fast as the other one you can change between the modes by swiping up or down and it is very fast as well as responsive the shutter lags are minimal and with the new 13 megapixel camera sensor by sony the image quality has also improved but in absolute terms the images are not still very sharp they are better than average but not exceptional the quality of pictures come out to be decent on this phone when talking about the front facing camera or the 5 megapixel selfie camera the pictures come out with good detailing and sharp crisp images with nice colors but again this one is not as wide angle as we have seen even on the lower end siblings of the u only i'm talking about euphoria which has a better front facing camera in my opinion but if you look at the competition even from the same brand which is the u euphoria U Eureka Plus still has a catching up to do on the front facing camera department and the rear facing camera can also use some improvements maybe they can be pushed out with the future software builds talking about the specifications and performance of the Eureka Plus it is very similar to the Eureka it comes with a Snapdragon 615 chipset which is an octa core cpu it comes with 2 gb of ram and 16 gb internal memory on antutu we get a similar kind of score we got a score of around 34000 when we tested on antutu 
We also did play the Frontline Commando 2, which is a fairly heavy game and it did show very good performance at gaming. The phone does get warm near this region where the processor is, but it's not uncomfortably hot. We saw temperatures reaching around 40-42 degrees, but in my opinion that is still manageable temperatures and most phones heat while gaming. Talking about the software, it runs Android Lollipop right out of the box and it runs Cyanogen Mode 12 software skin on top of that which is very feature rich and comes with a lot of controls that gives you features that you would not get on vanilla Android. There is close to no blotware on this phone and the applications that come pre-installed are very basic applications and useful applications and the phone is lag free for the same reason. The Eureka Plus, just like Eureka, also supports USB OTG pen drives. However, the native file browser was unable to browse through the USB OTG pen drive that we connected. So we downloaded ES File Explorer, which is a free to use uh, app. It detects the USB OTG drive much easier compared to the inbuilt file browser. Talking about the battery life of the Eureka Plus, there are no major improvements or bump ups in the battery capacity. It still uses a 2500 milliamp battery that was there on the Eureka as well. And the battery life that you can expect out of the Eureka Plus is very similar to that you can get with the Eureka. It may be slightly lower because there is a much higher resolution display here which may require more battery if you are running intensive graphics related applications like video viewing as well as gaming. But it should still easily last you one full day if you are a moderate to light user. But if you are a moderate to heavy user, you may have to look for a charging point before the end of the day. And last but not the least, value for money and our impressions of the Eureka Plus. At the price at which this phone is selling, it is still a very good value. It comes with a lot of performance which is packed. It comes with a beautiful design, it comes with uh, high resolution cameras, high resolution display, good performance. Yes, there are some heating issues. Yes, it is not a perfect phone when it comes to cameras. But in the price segment, it is one of the best options that you can pick in this price range. So it is still a thumbs up from us and the Eureka Plus improves on Eureka in a good way. If you want to pick up one for yourself, I'm leaving a direct link in the description section below where you can buy one at the best price. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. And for latest video updates, make sure to hit the red subscribe button. I hope to see you on my next video. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.